Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's our first example of how to use Bayes' rule or Bayes' theorem in trying to find an accurate probability for this particular problem. So let's say we have two boxes. In box one, we have two red marbles and one blue marble. In box two, we have one red marble and three blue marbles. One red ball is picked, or one red marble is picked. So we pick at random a, a marble. I guess I should have called it a marble. So what is the probability that the marble came from box one? So if we name the probability A being the probability that we got it from box one, and probability B that we took that the, the probability that we picked the red ball, then using Bayes' theorem or Bayes' rule, we find that the probability of A, given that B has occurred, is equal to the probability that B will occur, given that that A has occurred times the probability that A will occur divided by the probability that B will occur. And remember that in the denominator, this is, this is the sum of all the probabilities that B can occur. So if you now translate it, instead of using A and B, we use box one and red, it will make a little bit more sense. Let's say we want to find the probability that we pick box one that the marble came from box one given that we picked a red marble is equal to the probability that we'll pick a red marble given that it came from box one times the probability that we picked box one divided by the probability of picking a red marble and again this is all the possibilities or all the probabilities summed together that we're able to pick a red marble so translating that the numerator stays the same it's the probability that we'll pick a red marble given that we picked box one times the probability that we picked box one divided by, now this is the sum of all the ways in which we can get a red marble. The probability that we'll pick a red marble given that we picked box one times the probability of picking box one plus the probability that we'll get a red marble given that we picked box two times the probability that we picked box two. Now this equation right here makes it easier to work with it than the original equation as long as you remember that the denominator is a, all the probabilities summed together of getting a red marble. So let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. First we find the probability of finding a red marble given that we picked box one. So if we pick box one there's two red marbles and one blue marble that gives us two-thirds probability that we'll have picked a red marble. So that gives us two-thirds and we have to multiply the times the probability of picking box one. We have two boxes. We can pick box one and box two at random, which gives us a 50-50 chance of picking box one over box two. So we multiply this times one half. That gives us the numerator. Now we divide that by the probability of picking a red marble given that we picked box one. Well, that's exactly the same as the numerator, which is two thirds times the probability of picking box one, which again is one half. So notice that this part is exactly the same as the numerator. But now we add to that the probability of picking a red marble given that we picked box two. In box two, we have one red marble and three blue marbles. That's one out of four marbles that is red. So the probability is one out of four that we pick a red marble given that we picked box two times the probability of picking box two, but since the two boxes have equal probability, that will also be one half. And this is Bayes' theorem in action, or Bayes' rule in action. That will give us the probability that we picked a marble from box one, given that we picked a red marble. Notice, without using this technique, it would be almost impossible to pick the right value. So this will be equal to 2 thirds times 1 half, the 2's cancel out, that gives us 1 third in the numerator, divided by 1 third plus uh, 1 eighth. Notice we have to combine the numbers in the denominator. So let me go over here so you can see a little bit better. So we have 1 third divided by, the common denominator would be 24, that would be 8 over 24 plus 3 over 24. Notice I wrote it over common denominator. So this will be equal to 1 third divided by 8 plus 3, which is 11 over 24, which is equal to 1 third times the inverse of that, which is 24 over 11. So the 3 and the 24 cancel, that gives me an 8. So that would be 8 over 11. 
So the probability of having picked box 1, knowing that I picked the red marble, is 8 over 11. And of course, if we turn that into a percentage, 8 divided by 11, let's see, 8 divided by 11, that gives us 72.7 or about 73%. So that means that if we pick at random a marble out of either box one or box two, and we look at it and go, oh, it's a red marble, that gives us 73% chance that we pick the marble from box one. That is how we use Bayes' theorem or Bayes' rule, and it makes it a whole lot easier to figure out the probability of something that becomes as complex as this particular example. And that is how it's done.